Hi, good morning. Let's read Proverbs chapter 5. My son, attend to my wisdom and bow thy ear to my understanding, that thou mayest regard discretion and that thy lips may keep knowledge. For the lips of a strange woman drop as the honeycomb, and her mouth is smoother than oil, but her end is bitter and wormwood, sharp as a two-edged sword. Her feet go down to death, her steps take hold on how. Lest thou shouldest ponder the path of life, her ways are movable, that they canst not know them. Hear me now, therefore, O ye children, and depart not from the words of my mouth. Remove thy way from her, and come not nigh to the door of her house. Lest thou give thine honor unto others, and thy years unto the cruel. Lest strangers be filled with thy wealth, and thy labors be in the house of a stranger. And thou mourn at the last, when thy flesh and body are consumed. And say, How have I hated instruction, and my heart despised reproof. And have not obeyed the voice of my teachers, nor inclined my ear to them that instruct me. And have not obeyed the voice of my teachers, nor inclined my ear to them that instructed me. I was almost in an evil in the midst of the congregation and assembly. Drink waters out of thine own sinister, and run, running waters out of thy own well. Let the fountains of dis, be dispersed abroad, and rivers of water in the streets. Let them be only in thy own, and not strangers with thee. Let thy fountain be blessed, and rejoice with the wife of thy youth. Let her be as loving, kind, and pleasant road. Let her breast satisfy thee at all times, and be thou ravished always with her love. And why wilt thou, my son, be ravished with a strange woman, and embrace the bosom of a stranger? For the ways of a man are before the eyes of the Lord, and he pondereth all his goings. His own iniquity shall take the wicked himself, and he shall be holden with the cords of his sin. He shall die without instruction, and in the darkness of his body he shall go astray. Thanks for joining me. God bless you, and may you be a blessing to somebody else today. Bye.